Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris and today I'm going over something a little bit different. I'm doing a EDC for beginners from a beginner. Now I am definitely a beginner at this EDC stuff, but since I was a little kid I've always been collecting gadgets like I'm sure a lot of you guys will have been as well. And I've got the benefit of living on the road full time out in the outdoors. So a lot of this kit I use on a daily basis. Now contrary to the name, being EDC, everyday carry. I don't really think that you have to really have this on your person at all times, but rather with an arm's reach or regularly used. So, without further ado, I want to go over some of the gear that I'm taking as well as a pouch, which kind of is my EDC pouch slash my trauma pouch slash my emergency survival pouch. So, let's go over some of that stuff. Okay, before moving into the pouch, I'll talk about something I do carry on me every single day, which is my Casio World Time AE1200 WHB. Now this is a great little timepiece. I picked it up for 59 Australian dollars, and I had one of these when I was a little kid. So a cool retro 80s vibe to it. I like that it has this nylon strap as well as the metal buckles on it. And it's very basic, it's got your stopwatch, your alarm, but most importantly it's got your world time features. So you've got a little map of planet Earth there that you can cycle through and go through all your different time zones. And then it's got a nice little retro style light to it as well. So that's that Casio watch there. Okay, now I'll move the Casio aside. So onto the pouch now. Now this is a great little molly holder pouch, I either have this on my backpack for the outdoor adventures or I'll have that strapped to a molly holder in the front cab of our truck while I'm driving or I'll take it out really easily and have it in here, so super accessible. Now before I go over the actual pouch I'll start pulling things out, talk briefly about a few of them and then talk more in detail about some of the specific ones that I think you might be interested in. So just going to take the pouch apart now. So first up on the front, we've got the Life Straw. So you've probably seen these. They're quite affordable, and they remove all bacteria and diseases from the water. So you can carry this really easily. Very light. You've got a filter inside, and then the other end is for your mouth. So the only downside of this is you don't get a water-carrying container with it but this is so light, easy to just jump into a river and get yourself some nice fresh clean water. Now tests have been done online as to whether it does clean out all bacteria and all the tests that I could find showed that it did. So I've used this through, uh, through England on some of my backpacking adventures in Wales and around in Snowdonia and the like and it's, it worked really really well. So I carry that, that on me everywhere. Next up on the front here, something pretty straightforward. We've got a flint, flint stick, and then it's on a lanyard here with a little emergency whistle. So very straightforward, used it a few times. What I would like to do in the future is get a longer flint and have a little wooden handle. But I have that on the front there just in case I need to start a fire. Okay. Now inside the pouch. So very straightforward in the front, got a bandage. So this can be used really well for putting pressure on a snake bite or whether you've rolled your ankle, something on those lines. So nice and light, easy to carry around. In here also we've got another a triangular bandage for making a sling. Some wound dressings of different sizes and an emergency blanket that can be used during either a fire if it's getting really really incredibly hot at a pinch but more importantly it can be used for warmth or even for collecting water anything like that it's nice and light it's got multiple uses for it so having a blanket like that in your kit could save your life now in the kit as well I won't pull them out just a couple of safety pins for obvious reasons mostly for tightening up bandages also carrying around some, just some Ziploc bags, so that's for either keeping food, uh, keeping things dry like your cell phone, good to have some of those that don't take any weight. Now in here we've also got SAS Survival Guide. 
Now on all of the EDC videos I've ever seen, I never really see people carrying around things like this. Now it's all very well having all of the gear, but if you have no idea how to use it, then you're as good as dead. Now I am no expert on tying knots or snares or emergency shelters or anything like that, so this is where something like this can really save your life. Through here you've just got a massive amount of images and directions that can really save your life. It's even got what plants you can eat, what plants you shouldn't eat. Now my late dad bought me this and I've read through it a couple of times and already learned quite a bit from it. But it's not something you can really memorize so it's great to have something like this on board. And ideally I would have this in a Ziploc bag to make sure it couldn't get damaged from water. So some form of a survival guide in a small format like this is well worth its weight in gold. Alright, little zip pocket. We've got in here powder for gastro. So most importantly, if you're getting diarrhea or something along those lines, this will replace your electrolytes and keep you going, stopping those horrendous cramps and you potentially dying. So it's also great if you're doing a lot of activity. So if you've had to hike up a mountain or something along those lines, maybe row a kayak, replenishing your electrolytes is really important. So it's good to carry around a couple of sachets of that. Okay, so next up, little Ziploc bag underneath here. Very straightforward, but I've got a few fishing hooks in here and some fishing line. Now at some stage I'll add more fishing line to this, but with the book that I showed you before, that can help me not only rig up snares, but also catch fish, a lot of things. So great to have just a few fishing hooks there. Then in the front here I've got a lighter, which I'll talk to you more about very soon. multi-tool I'll also talk about and then hanging from the bottom of the pack we've got my Olight Warrior 3S which I'll go through more detail as well and that's the pouch so super light easy to carry around okay so now the pouch is called the excellent elite spanker very interesting name now I picked this up on Amazon for $28.35 it is incredibly well made. If you can get past the weird spanker little logo on there, you're in for a really nice little EDC pouch. It has Cordura nylon fabric, so it's nice and durable. It's got YKK zips, and the whole thing has been put together really nicely, and it looks like it's actually gonna last. All the zips and the buckles, the buttons are all made really nicely. So you've got Molly on the back for strapping to all kinds of things, especially a backpack, which is really handy. And then inside you've got multiple pockets as you saw, multiple ways to store things and hang off them. And then on the front, more molly holders for extra accessories, as well as a Velcro area here for a patch. So that is the excellent Elite Spanker Molly and Admin Pouch. So again, off Amazon, it was only $28.35 from memory. Really good buy, I'm happy with it. Okay, next up is the little electronic lighter. So this is by a company called Advoxy. Now you'll see a lot of ones that are all very similar. I'm sure they come out of the same factory in China. Now I'll show you how that works. So we flick it down, pop the button. There it exposes the little electric lighter and we push it and we have ignition. So pretty cool. Now this obviously works in the wet and that is the main advantage to it. You're not dealing with a flame and it also doesn't have any gas. The only downside being if it runs out of charge, it is as good as useless. Now it's got a little USB port here for charging it and it came with its own cable. So very straightforward, nice little unit. It is semi waterproof and that was 20 Australian dollars. So nice and cheap. I have yet to really use it properly in the field. Normally I'm using my flint. But great to have, nice and light. Okay, up next is my favorite little gadget which I've been using a lot lately. It is the Roxon S802 Multi-Tool. Now I picked this up for $79 also on Amazon. It's got a really nice heavy feel to it. Now this company is known for making multi-tools with detachable knives, so I'll show you that. So first up, you got a really nice sharp 
solid good sized blade here on the front and I have actually used that and it works really well. Now the awesome thing is, I'll show you here, if you push these two buttons you can pull the blade out and easily put a new one in. Now when I say a new one they sell all different types so on Amazon or other websites I could have picked up a bunch of other different knives and I probably really will pick up a few blades. They've got things like X-Acto knives, all different types and styles. Now that I've seen the quality of this one I will definitely get myself a few others. And that makes this multi-tool even more versatile than your usual ones from other competitors. You've got a nice little lock here, so I can close that, bring the knife back in, and then we've got our main pliers, so spring-loaded pliers with cutting tool at the bottom. So far they've been really helpful for fishing at the moment actually. Now I'll just close that back up and I'll show you why, because we've also got a really solid pair of spring-loaded scissors as well. They've managed to fit quite a lot into this tool. Now I'll close that up. These have a lock on them as well, so they can't come open. Really good there. Okay, now. On this side, we've got a saw. Good little saw that. Wouldn't be wanting to use that anytime soon for cutting anything big, but worst case, it's there to use. that back up. Then on this side we've got all of our other ones. So we've got our can opener and flathead screwdriver, we've got our awl, our Phillips head and our chisel. So great little multi-tool that, really happy with it, feels nice and heavy. It's got a ruler on the back, I won't be using it anytime soon, but yeah it's a, it's a really solid unit. Now when I buy a few other knives that'll make it an amazing multi-tool. It also came with a little pouch, which I'm not using at the moment. Yeah, good quality product from Roxon. Okay, and now last but not least, we've got the Olight Warrior 3S. Before I take it out, just check out that awesome little pouch that it comes on. Great for molly holder. Click the button. Here's the torch. So it's a really, really nice, heavy duty, good feeling torch. Now I've owned a lot of Olight products now, I use their head torches all the time and they have always performed incredibly well. Now first up one of the features of Olight is their magnetic charging. So it comes with their cable here, that just slaps straight on and charges via USB really quickly so that's really cool. Now the torch itself, if I turn that on, is 2300 lumen. So incredibly bright and you would have seen there with those little green LEDs it tells you the battery power as well. Now I can cycle even brighter, so one mode here, up and up again into the turbo mode. So that turbo mode is the 2300 lumen one and it is incredibly bright. Great little torch, little clip for the belt, so very excited about having this one. Now I picked this up for $152 from their website, but they are often offering really huge sales, so it's something to keep an eye on their website for. Yeah, the Olight stuff is really, really good. So that brings us sort of to the conclusion of most of the gear I'm carrying in the pouch. Okay, so that wraps up my EDC gear pouch. For me, that makes a really good sort of gadget, survival, and trauma sort of gear that I can just bring along really easily. It doesn't weigh me down too much, and it's not too expensive. So please let me know in the comments what you think about the video, what sort of gadgets and gear you think I need to add to my pouch. There are a few things I can think of. And uh, yeah, just let me know uh, what you thought of the video and whether you found it helpful or if you would like to see more videos a little bit like this. Again, this is kind of the first one of these I've done. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Cheers.